डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ जील सागर शाह वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आम्बेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम टू द चैतन्य स्टूडियो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ऑपरेटर्स एंड मैन्यूपलेटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस करेंटली वी आर इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस एंड इन दैट वी आर इन ब्लॉक टू यूनिट फाइव दैट इज डिसीजन एंड कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स लूप्स अनकंडीशनल ब्रांचिंग स्टेटमेंट्स सो इन Today's lecture, we are going to learn about two things. That is, decision-making statements and types of decision-making statements. That is, if and switch. This what is decision-making? Decision-making is about deciding the order of execution of statements based on certain conditions, or repeat a group of statements until. certain specified conditions are met let's see decision making statements c++ uses the following decision making statements first is if statement and second is switch statement so there are different forms of if statement in c++ that is simple if if else nested if else and else if later so first of all we will see simple if in detail the simple if statement is the simplest decision making statement it allows the execution of a block of a code if the given condition is true the body of the if condition is executed only if the condition is true now let's see the syntax of if condition that is first of all if that is if is a keyword and condition which are applicable to the statement and then the group of statements which are available in if condition will be executed let's see one example L uh if age is more than 55 then person is retired so what is the flow chart of if statement first of all the flow chart will start after that it will test the condition if it is true then the statement is executed otherwise it will go to the it will go out of the execution that is control flow now let's see one simple program of simple if statement first of all we will include io string after that using namespace std in int main we will write one variable age and we will compare that if age is greater than 18 then we will display allowed to vote in our program so whenever i execute this program what i will get as a, as my output that is it is allowed to vote because the the variable which the variable age is equal to 19 and 19 is greater than 18 so it is allowed to vote will be displayed in our 
whenever we run this program. Now let us see if else statement. If else statement is is allow us to make a decision based on the evaluation of a given statements. If the given statement is true, then the code inside the if block is executed and in the case the condition is false, then the code inside the else block will be executed. Now let us see syntax of if else statement. First condition will be checked and if it is true then if block is executed and the statements inside the if block will be executed and if the statement is false then it will go into then it will go in the else block let's see one smaller example if age is more than 55 then person is retired otherwise person is a regular employee in the flowchart of if else statement if we look into it then first of all when we enter in this flowchart it will test our condition that it is true or false if it is true then if code is executed and if it is false the condition is false then the code then the else code will be executed now let's see one simple program of simple if else statement first of all in the last like uh, in the last slide we have seen that first of all we have taken int age and we will ask the user to enter his age if his age is greater than 18 then the output we will get is allowed to vote otherwise uh, in else block it will show to me that not allowed to vote now let's see the output when we run this program what will we get first of all when i enter 15 then the uh, then the else block will be executed that is not allowed to vote and when I enter 19 then if block is executed so we will get allowed to vote in our output. Now let us see nested if else statement. The nested if else statement is a conditional statement as you can see inside if again there is an if else block also inside the else part again we have written if else block so we can write the conditions under the conditions block it depends on our program that what will we be using we can write if else up to any nested level this is supported by c++ in some cases we are we need to write nested conditional statements like this and most of the time it happens to be inside the else block rather than the if block then what will we use we will use this type of conditional statement in our program now let's see syntax of nested if else statement first con first we will check condition is true or not if it is true then if block will be executed in that another condition is applied that is this condition true then this if will be executed otherwise it will go to the else block and else will be executed after that again else will come this else is of first if condition that if that first condition is false then this else will be executed if condition is true then this will be executed otherwise else block will be 
executed that is line 4 and how this works let's see one our flow chart first it will it will compare that is this condition true or not if it is true then true block will be executed and in that we have again condition applied and in that we have we will again compare that is it true or not if it is true then line 1 will be executed otherwise line 2 will be executed simultaneously in false block that is in else block if we write one condition that is it true or false if it is true then it will go in the if block and if it is false then it will go in the else block now let's see one program of nested if else statement first of all we will include io string after that in void main we will write int number that is initialize one number and ask our user to enter an integer and after that we will see in number if number this is the outer if condition if number is not equal to 0 then it will go in this block and if number is greater than 0 the number is positive else the number is negative so this is the inner else condition and what is the outer else condition that is the number is neither positive nor negative because it is a 0 now let's see this let's see the output of this program first I have entered one integer then the number is positive and it will go in the first inner if condition and if I enter minus 1 then inner else condition will be executed that is the number is negative and if I enter 0 the outer else condition will be true and thus we will get the number is 0 and it is neither positive nor negative. Now let us see else if ladder. Else if ladder is, a, is an extension of if else condition that is nested if else condition and it is that is why it is known as else if ladder if we have more than one nested if then it can be easily framed like if else ladder this is very easy for writing otherwise too many nested if will create confusion for a programmer and the even the code not be easily readable so let us see how we can frame the else if ladder for nested if First of all, we will see the syntax of else if ladder. First, if and then condition and else if condition and then statement 2, else if condition 3. So, rather than using nested if, if we have too many conditions in one program, then else if ladder will be used. And then else statement which is the default which we can call as the default statement in else if ladder and in that default statement will be executed. So, let us see first else if ladder flowchart. Okay, so this is if else ladder first is if condition is checked. If condition will true, then if block will be executed. Second is the if else condition. If the first condition is 
fails then this if else block will be executed and instead of writing this condition nested we have written that condition in if else and third again if the if else condition of the previous one is not satisfied then condition 3 will be executed and likewise the fourth and if any of these statements will not be executed then else statement will be executed so let's see one example of nested if that is else if ladder program first we will include io string using namespace std in int main we will initialize one variable that is a and we will ask user to enter the value of a and if the user will enter a as 10 then first condition that is if a is equal to equal to 10 over here we have as you can see we have use relational operators because we are comparing that a is equal to equal to 10 so now you can get the idea how our operators work in c++ where we use our operators in c++ so if a is equal to equal to 10 then this if block will be executed that is a is 10 else if when if user will write a is equal to 15 then this else if block will be executed that is a is equal a is 15 else if a equal to equal to 20 then this will be executed and in the if any of this statement will not be executed then the else block will be executed that is a is not present let's see ex uh, output of this enter age 15 not allowed that is a is equal to 15 and let's see one last topic that is switch statement St switch statement is mainly used to replace multiple if else if statements the if else statement causes performance degradation as several conditions need to be evaluated before a particular condition is satisfied the expression value must be always executed the expression to be tested comes after the switch statement and it can be a variable expression or any of the or any of the result of a function the keyword case is followed by an integer or character constant every case constant terminates with a colon operator and it will check that is con that this is right or not let's see a syntax of switch statement first the expression will be there in switch and after that case constant one if this case is true then this block will be executed otherwise break will be the it when it finds the break the statement control jumps to the next block of the statement while studying unconditional statements in the next lecture we will be able to learn about the break statement elaborately if expression was not equal to constant 1 it will be checked against constant 2 it is equal to this and finally if the value of expression did not match any of the previous specified constants then the program will be execute the default statement that is statements included after the default keyword that is case constant 2 statements and break and default if default is not compulsory it is optional in switch case now let's see one small example of switch case using namespace std 
in in we have taken one integer enter a number and in that switch number case 20 it it is 20 case 30 it is 30 and break case 40 it is 40 so let's see just in the default we will when I run this program enter a number if I write 20 then I will get it is 20 if I write 90 then it will go in the default state that is not 20 30 or 40 so thank you for hearing this lecture in the next lecture we will continue this unit thank you Smart guy, uh -huh.